perfectly match that existing coverage of the site. All those in favor say aye. 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 City Commissioner said the approval process with several steps of yes, then no, then yes, was not good for anyone. A uh, factor of the pandemic and lack of communication, right? We're not in the habit of overruling plan board very often. We have good respect for the work they do. They serve well. The commissioner said with 11 times the number of trees promised as are currently on the site, they felt good about approval. What's the pleasure of the commission? Move forward. Move forward. Move forward. All right, we're going to move forward. The decision means UD can build a 50,000 square foot performing arts center at Main and Stewart. UD Planner said it's a space for performances like music and dance, but they also anticipate it will be used by the community and will be the home of student media instruction as well. One of the things that is unique about it is that this is, besides just a place for performance, it's also a place for learning. And so bringing these elements together allows for Flyer Media to learn and practice, um, broadcast, the university says that there's plenty of land here. In fact, the band practice field will still remain in this spot as the Performing Arts Center is built. That construction could begin as early as next month. In date, Mike Campbell, News Center 7. And now, your Storm Center 7 forecast with Chief Meteorologist McCall Brideggs. Well, it was a quiet finish to the week and really not that bad. Temperature still sitting in the 70s outside. Here's a look up in Pequa. You can see 74 degrees. That's the air temperature in the Dayton area. Outside of the city, slightly cooler. We're at about 69 in Troy, 64 outside in Sydney, Greenville at 68 degrees. Tonight, not too chilly. We're going to look at those temperatures falling to about 67 degrees by daybreak. So not much further from where we currently sit in the city of Dayton, outlying areas, perhaps around those lower to mid-60s early on Saturday. But then by midday, 82 degrees. We'll have plenty of sunshine, a little muggy though, and then for the afternoon we get to about 86 degrees. Now, as we get into the heat of the day, there will be the threat of a pop up shower or thunderstorm. The chances are quite low. We're talking about a 20% chance, and the coverage will be on the lower end as well. So a lot of us are likely going to go throughout the day tomorrow dry. Sunday also looks dry for us in the Miami Valley. We'll wake up at 63 degrees Sunday morning. By lunchtime, we're in the upper 70s, and then we warm to about 85 degrees Sunday afternoon. We're going to start to see the cloud cover building as I'm looking ahead to that next chance for more widespread rain, which will be coming in on Monday and with us for Tuesday into early Wednesday. So there's a good little soaking that we'll see in the beginning of next week. So here's that for you on future cash. You head out the door early Monday morning for work and school. Rain already starting to approach. Best chance will come in by Monday afternoon and evening. Then as we roll into Tuesday, notice future casts a lot of green from morning to evening. Maybe heavy at times with a few embedded storms as well. This is coming in with a pretty significant cold front. The cold front will pull away and we'll watch those showers wrapping up early Wednesday. But what comes in behind that is some cooler air. Looking at our five-day forecast, you can see we're in the 80s throughout the weekend. Again, an isolated shower and thunderstorm for Saturday. Then we'll see that rain coming in Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. By Wednesday afternoon, our high is at about 70 degrees. And actually, when I look into Thursday, that high only gets to the upper 60s. So cooler air comes in just as we arrive into the season of fall, which, by the way, begins on Wednesday, Sean. Yeah. Definitely starting to look a little bit more like fall in that yes, forecast. Is. Thanks, McCall. That's all the time we have for WHIO TV tonight. Touchdown 7 coming up next with James Ryder. Have a great night and a great weekend.